battery. Battery, please don't die. Disclaimer. Also, art, photos. Disclaimer. Disclaimer, disclaimer. All right, so before you start rolling your eyes or yelling at the screen, scream, yelling at the screen, I'll have some housekeeping, some disclaimers, just some things to note, caveats, whatever you want to call them. Though I don't fully, uh, how do I put this? Understand us, us, us. Though I don't fully understand art or fully grasp the concept, I do know that art is subjective and pretty much anything that you put out there is to a large extent or to a massive extent safe to label as art. So do take that in if you see these images and feel that they are not art. This channel is for enjoying the creative process and what we can do or how to explore what we can do with different tools to push our visuals. The Osmo Action. The Osmo Action, I purchased this re, re not a restart, refurbish and therefore at an attractive price. And though I take this pretty much everywhere with me, I seem to only use it for underwater and for vlogs. So let's go through some photos. And I must admit that I plan to produce a video that would show you photos and kind of talk through what I think makes the images more artsy than actiony or more than a shot taken for memory and all that artsy stuff aside, I do feel that a shot taken for memory holds more value than one taken for art. And I made a, 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 video, a video that discussed this and you can feel free to check it out after this video. I'll place it at the end of this, this video. But in all honesty, I don't really know what makes these more artsy than not, other than perhaps the editing that pushes certain colors and mutes others. And of course, the inclusion of people, not always necessary, but the inclusion that, of people that might drive us to, in our heads, create a story of what we feel might be happening in the photo. Those two elements, and also the potential for the viewer to see the image and in the first instance say, oh, or wow, and kind of take a double look to see a little closer or to stop scrolling. You know what I mean? I tend to go out with all of that in mind when I have the camera in my hand for session photography. And I say session photography to mean photography with intention. Now I'm not referring to photos taken quickly to capture a memory. I'm referring to photos that I'm taking that I know that I will tweak in post. Okay, things that I do to overcome limitations associated with a small sense of being that of the Osmo is I go into the water knowing that the images will likely or most likely be grainy. Well, not gra grainy, they'll carry digital noise. They'll be bubbly, they'll be murky, murky, murky. And I take that knowing that I will be trying to not hide that in post. If anything, I will most probably be accentuating all of those imperfections of the photo. I always shoot 9 by 16, 16 by 9, 9 by 16 to take advantage of the wide angle composition that can be achieved with these action cameras and I found that this can help create photos with mystery, especially when you isolate the subject in this wide open space of nothing. The whole open darkness of the sea I find to be one of the most frightening things for me to experience, not only being in it but also seeing it in imagery so those types of images do hit some part of my brain that bring about discomfort so that's something that i'd like to explore down the line and there's that if you have one of these action cameras and you don't use it much i encourage that you get out there and see what you can push out of these devices before i had an action camera i tried the stuff underwater stuff with an old phone that i put into a little plastic thing cover thing and it was a ton of fun if you live by water and can responsibly get yourself out there to take photos i do recommend that you give it a try i don't think that you'll regret it and let's leave it at that folks i'm obviously a little jittery right now too much coffee i think i'm having an anxious day so thanks so much for being here i do appreciate it take care of yourselves and i'll catch you in the next video oh, was i in focus was i even in focus